Well, good evening and welcome to Channel 8 Sports and East Brunswick High School Girls Gymnastics. Hi, I'm John Megliaro, coming to you tonight from the East Brunswick High School Gym, where the Lady Bears are playing host to Piscataway and Saraville in a girls gymnastic tri-meet. East Brunswick comes in with a 4-0 record and really having an outstanding season under first-year coach Lisa Scarano. Lisa replacing Leslie Gatner, the longtime coach here at the high school. As I mentioned, it's a tri-meet, that is three teams competing together, and the way they'll run the rotations is two teams will be going at the same time, not necessarily on the same piece of equipment. East Brunswick will start off on vaulting, while I believe it will be Cerebral on the uneven bars. We'll only be following the East Brunswick teams as we have in the past. So we'll move over to the vaulting horse, and we'll see that, and you see on the screen, that's Sherry Blumenthal. She'll be the first competitor for East Brunswick. Shari's first vault is a handspring, and a nice one it was. East Brunswick, our, uh, East Brunswick's team is in the green leotard. And Sherry has an option of doing a second vault if she likes, and she will. Judges here are looking for good speed down the runway, good explosion off the springboard, and then distance from the horse. Sherry tried a half on, half off, and caught a little short. It seems to have hurt her knee just a bit. And that's Coach Scarano looking at it right now. That mat is thick. It's a thick mat, the blue mat you see Sherry sitting on. It's about eight inches thick, but it's somewhat hard. It's firm, and the idea is to provide protection, but not to interfere with the dismount. And I see that Phil Hostler, East Brunswick's trainer, will come out and take a look at Sherry. Sherry is co-captain of the Lady Bears and a senior and one of the all-around gymnasts on this team. <laughs> it would appear that she jammed her knee on the dismount or on the landing. And they'll probably put some ice on it. Could be down it by the ankle area. Not sure yet. Again, Phil Hostler taking a look. One of the benefits of having a trainer on site. Phil is here at every event. And Sherry has helped up. She was attempting a half on, half off vault. And it was just a little short, as they say, on the dismount, jamming her knee and possibly her ankle in the mat. Dana Monona will be up next for East Brunswick and will give you Shari's score as soon as we see them. Cerebral team will be competing on the uneven bars. And Dana Monona. Nice handspring, very good lift from the board. And a nice dismount. getting ready for her second attempt. Half 
half on, half off. Pretty nice vault there. And she'll take the best score of the two. We're still waiting for Sherry Blumenthal's vaulting score. Up next will be Lori Herbert for East Brunswick. Lori is the top all-around gymnast for the girls and is a junior, junior co-captain. Score of 8.5 is flash, and I believe that's for Dana Monona. We'll check about Sherry's score. But this is Lori Her Herbert, junior co-captain. Half on and a full twist off. Difficult vault. Somewhat uh, out of control on the dismount, just slightly. And she'll lose some some points for that. Certainly nothing major where full points would be deducted. Or a very powerful gymnast. Really comes down that runway hard, and that's what's needed in vaulting. All right, Lori getting ready for a second attempt, I believe. And that's it, she'll take the one vault. And that'll bring up Meredith Garofalo. Lori Herbert's score is 9.0. So the half on, full off, nice vault, and it was rewarded by the judges with a 9.0. Meredith Garofalo now the last competitor for East Brunswick on vault. Spring vault, very nice. Good height off the horse. And she should score well with that. See if they make her try it again. Meredith will take it for her second. Vault, half on, full twist, not bad. So two good vaults, and East Brunswick starts off this competition very strongly on the vault. And we'll wait for Meredith's score in just a moment. And while we're waiting, let me point out that the captain of the East Brunswick High School Lady Bears is senior Allison Weeder. If that name sounds familiar, she is the daughter of the boys coach, Don Weeder. Allison is a senior. Shari Blumenthal, we mentioned, is co-captain senior. Lori Herbert, junior co-captain. The rest of the team consists of Dela Hollenrith, a junior. Cara Lento, another junior. Now, the score for Meredith Garofalo is 8.95. Finishing the rest of the team roster, sophomore Meredith Garofalo, Danielle Desmond, and, who is a freshman, and another freshman, Dana Monona. Well, East Brunswick finishes its first event, that is vaulting, and we'll be back as they move over to the uneven bars. Well, you see the East Brunswick girls over at the uneven bars. And that'll be the next rotation for the team. Second rotation. By the way, Sherry Blumenthal's score on vault was 8.0. But I understand that Sherry may not be competing the rest of the evening after hurting her knee. Anyway, we'll move to bars. And the first up for East Brunswick will be Dahlia Hollerith. And Dahlia is a junior. On the uneven bars, the judges are looking for movement between the bars as well as 
releases on either bar uh, with dismounts that show some sort of tumbling action in them. So you'll see the girls moving back and forth between the bars and putting in some sort of uh, dismount that resembles either a back summy or uh, what they call a layout. Girls chalking up, they will set and adjust the bars after each competitor, and that is because each girl has her own setting, which is really tailored around her body size. And this is Dahlia Hollerith getting ready to go. She will wait until she has approval from the head judge. She's just tracing her steps to the board. On bars, the girls are allowed to use a springboard to mount. And you'll see Dahlia use that. Starts with a straddle over the low bar. Back. Little difficulty there. Form could be tighter, and she'll lose some points on that. Not full points again, just deductions, fractions of points, actually. Daya's moving along, and there's a break. And she has time to re chalk up again if she'd like, but Daya's going to jump in and, and get right back to it. And there's that back Sunday dismount that we were talking about. So Daya Hollerith on. The uneven bars, first competitor for East Brunswick. We should point out again that if you're joining us, we're looking at the Lady Bears gymnastics team. They come in 4 0. They're in a tri meet this evening along with Saraville and Piscataway, but we're only following East Brunswick. Saraville, however, uh, comes into this meet um, rather fresh. This is their first meet while Piscataway comes in with a four and two record. <coughs> Clearly, East Brunswick appears to be the class team in this evening's competition. And their four and zero record suggests that they're having an outstanding season um, as well. Waiting for Dahlia's scores. Two judges are scoring at each event. They'll take the high and low, and, uh, or the two scores rather, and average them. And on occasion, you may see that the judges will get together, and that is because there's such a disparity in the scoring. This is Dana Monona, second competitor up on the bars. Working very nicely, nicely rather. Slight break there. As she gets ready for her flyaway dismount, back Sunny actually. Dahlia Hollerith's score was not flashed our way, so we did not see it. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up. Dana Monona score. And Meredith Garofalo will be next. You may see on your screen, and I believe that's Meredith now fixing our hand grips. Gymnasts wear grips uh, to protect their hands. They're leather grips, and generally they're covered with chalk. And that is to reduce some of the friction while maintaining a, a good, clean grip on the bar. Dahlia's score was 6.6. We're waiting for Dana Monona's score. And Meredith Garofalo will be up. Meredith is a sophomore, as we pointed out earlier. Judges looking at each other concerning the score. And they'll give signals to one another in terms of whether one is higher or lower than the other. 
One judge will serve as the head judge and will make all the final decisions when there are scoring discrepancies. score for Dana Monona was 6.9. And now we'll get ready for Meredith. Straddle of the low bar. Swing back and catch to the low bar. Moving very nicely. Again, Meredith, just a sophomore, showing good skill and form. A little trouble there. Kip. And a good dismount. So Meredith Garofalo with a nice routine. Some slight form breaks, but overall very strong showing. And she should come up with a good score. And our last competitor on the bars will be Lori Herbert. <laughs> and you see the coach, Lisa Scarano, helping set the bars, adjust the bars. for the scores for Meredith Garofalo. As the camera pans back, you see some of the crowd here tonight. And we would invite you to come see a girls gymnastics meet. If you enjoy the beauty, grace, and strength of this sport, there's nothing like being here seeing it. These girls work very hard to put on a good performance. And Meredith, Meredith Garofalo score is 7.75. And this is Lori Herbert, last competitor. Starts off very well, nice and strong. Bars are push and pull, and you'll see Lori demonstrating that. Working very well here, very strong with the flyaway dismount. Lori Herbert, co-captain of the Lady Bears. As you see, these routines are not long in, in duration, but a lot of uh, energy is expended. And we'll see what Lori receives as her scores. And after this event, East Brunswick is scheduled to move on to the beam. And what may be the most difficult event of the four for the ladies. as the other teams begin to rotate now to their respective events. We're still waiting for Lori Herbert's score. East Brunswick has been scoring, on average, 95 points, which is quite high. And certainly as helps people see why their record is 4-0. and oh. And talking to Coach Lisa Scarano, she says her expectations is for this team to be one of the top teams in the GMC, and certainly she's close to reaching that expectation this in her first year. And now you'll see the judges kind of getting together to discuss what they saw in Lori's routine and determine the point allocations accordingly. In gymnastics, uh, moves are rated on the basis of A, B, and C, A being the easiest, be more difficult and then see the most difficult. Each routine is to be composed of so many C, B, and A movements, and then points are allocated accordingly until it reaches a total of 10. 
so in debating what they saw, they were also talking about uh, minor deductions such as uh, knee breaks or if uh, toes weren't pointed or arms weren't um, straight. And that's what is being discussed now. And Coach Lisa Scarano, who's in the white and green, um, talking out to the judge, um, has probably helped clarifying the moves that were included in Lori's routine. So we're still waiting for a score. And as I said, in the meantime, the girls will rotate on to their other events. Judge is still comparing notes. Well, while we're waiting, we're going to take a little break here. We'll come back and we'll relay to you Lori Herbert's score on bars, and we'll pick up e the East Brunswick team on the balance beam. We move next to the balance beam where Allison Weeder will start things off for the Lady Bears. Allison is replacing Sherry Blumenthal, who hurt her knee, I believe, on the first event, the vault. So Allison Weeder, team captain, will fill in on this event. Uh, by the way, the score for Lori Herbert on her bar routine was 8.5. There's Allison Weeder getting ready. And you talk about being called out on the spot. Allison was not planning, I'm sure, to compete beam tonight and was called or pressed into action due to the injury with Sherry Blumenthal. So sometimes you see the best routines uh, in those kind of situations. Uh, no real pressure. She's doing what she can to just help the team. By the way, we do have scores after two rounds or after two events. East Brunswick leads the competition 49.9, followed by Piscataway 42.3. And in third place is Cerebral with 34.9. This is Allison Wiener on the balance beam. On the beam, the judges are looking for both tumbling and dance moves. So you'll see leaps and turns as well as uh, back walkovers, cartwheels. And this is a back walkover right there by Allison. Very nicely done. Two in a row is a superior move. Allison looking very good so far. Not much room to work with up there, as you well know. Allison showing some dance and some poses. Again, all part of the requirements. Nice full turn, and she's able to stay on. A few bobbles. Won't cost her too severely, though. Cartwheel. Up, and that fall will be up to about a half a point. Let's see if Allison can finish strong here. And she was going to move into a split handstand there where they sp she splits her legs. So she's had two falls, but a nice routine. She gets ready. Nice scale. She'll get ready for her dismount. And again, Allison comes off the beam. And in all fairness, she was not expecting to work this event. So she'll get up for her dismount. Back summy. Allison Weeder for East Brunswick, first competitor. mentioned a few minutes ago, the scoring after two events, East Brunswick on top, uh, Piscataway with a good showing, and Cerebral in third place, and in all fairness to the Bombers, this is their first meet, and for many of the young ladies, it's their first time in competition. So the scoring, uh, while it may be low, I think is really showing some nice talent for the Cerebral team. And speaking of talent, when you look at the East Brunswick team, 
they have two seniors on this year's squad, Allison Weeder and Sherry Blumenthal. Three juniors, a sophomore, and two freshmen, so they're well positioned for next year, certainly. And we're waiting for Allison Weeder's score. Meredith Garofalo will be up next for the Bears. That's Meredith. watching the competitor on the floor. And it's not unusual for the judges to take a little bit of time on the first competitor on any event. And certainly they're taking into consideration not only the falls, but also some of the moves that they saw and the value of those moves. And it's often a difficult time for the competitors who have to wait and are next on the apparatus. Officials, you can see there sharing information about certain requirements and again point allocations. And still some disagreement. You see the judge there. She is the head judge. And I think they've come to some agreement here finally. I'm Allison Weeder. And Meredith Garofalo. And the score we saw for Allison Weeder was 4.3. Beautiful start for Meredith Garofalo on beam. V C to straddle V C. No bobble there, but and whoop, and she caught her ankle. Fortunately, she didn't get hurt. She'll jump right back up there. <laughs> Meredith is a sophomore and showing some great promise for the next few years for this Lady Bears team. Another fall. It's easy to understand why competitors fall when they're asked to do tumbling maneuvers and dance maneuvers on a piece of apparatus that's only uh, it's less than three inches wide. <laughs> Actual surface that they're using that is just three inches wide. And Meredith with a good dismount back summy. And she smiled when she came off, so not too upset. <laughs> she bears her head just a bit. Next competitor up for East Brunswick will be Dana Monona. And Dana will wait until the head judge gives her the signal. And you see Coach Scarano talking with Dana. And I mentioned East Brunswick comes in 4-0. and Off to a great star and start this season. Both coach and participant are looking on at some of the other competitors. Lori Herbert coming in to give Dana some encouragement. A lot of team unity in gymnastics. Uh, the girls help one another in practices in terms of uh, providing coaching tips or techniques. They'll pull equipment for one another. 
um, even on occasion provide some light spotting uh, on the apparatus. And so it's easy to see why the girls tend to be very close to one another and a good, good unity, a good uh, basis for team unity is formed through this sport just by the, its very nature. Again, waiting for the scores, and the judges seem to be having some difficulties in arriving at a score within a range, and now we'll have a conference. And we'll come right back with Dana Monona's score in just a minute. Okay, we're back with Dana Monona. Score for Meredith Garofalo was 6.0. And we certainly want to apologize for having to fade in and out. It's taken the judges an awful long time to come up with a score. Anyway, let's see what Dana can do here on the balance beam. Back handspring, and she's able to stay on, straighten it out. She's getting ready for a second. And it looks pretty good. Into a scale, and that's a pose she needs to hold she does. Split leap or scissor leap. <laughs> Straddle. Dana working very well. Keep in mind she's a freshman. Ariel and almost and that's a tough trick. She made it to her feet and just couldn't keep her balance. Overall, a good, solid routine and a full twist dismount as she pulls it out. Dana Monona, nice beam routine. And hopefully the judges will be able to get together rather quickly on her score. Up next will be Lori Herbert, the last competitor for East Brunswick on this event. As we mentioned, this is a most difficult piece of equipment for the ladies of the four that they uh, work in competition. See Lori Herbert, co-captain. Many of the girls uh, not only compete on the high school team, but also work out at private gyms where they participate in the sport throughout the year. And the nature of the sport is such that uh, if you want to really pursue it, you're, you almost have to do it full time year round. And many girls do that. Lori getting some encouragement from her coach as she waits and as we wait. Again, scoring awfully slow at the balance beam this evening. And hopefully we'll be near the score. And a score of 7.7 .7 for Dana Monona. And this is Lori Herbert. Back walk over to her knee. Foul 
Valdez that she just happened to hang on with. That is a very difficult move. Oh, he works very fast, as you can see. And each girl has their own pace. Nice scissor leap, split leap. Very difficult in combination like that. A little short on the turn. She sets up for what I believe is going to be a one arm back handspring. No, back handspring, back handspring. And she pulls it out nicely. Nice routine going. She stays on, she should score very well. Getting ready for a dismount now. Backhand spring with a full twist dismount. Lori Herbert, last competitor for East Brunswick, and she should come up with a good score. And we'll start off with the last event for East Brunswick. That will be floor in just a moment. You see Allison Weeder is moving out to the center of the floor, X mat to start off the last event for the Bears. Allison, senior captain of this team. And this is really a fun event. Music. Gymnasts are expected to show both dance and tumbling. Use all four corners of the mat. Allison with a back sunny, nice high one. Flip-flops into a step out. A pirouette, half pirouette, into the back walkovers. Allison working very well on the floor tonight. Getting ready now for another tumbling pass. Round off, flip flops. And Allison Weeder starts things off on a high note for East Brunswick. On the floor X, on floor exercise. Dana Monona will be up next. And you get a good view of the floor X mat. You see the white lines or perimeter. The gymnasts are expected to tumble within that. There should be music changes, uh, intentional music changes, so that the rhythm and tempo of the exercise uh, changes. That is to demonstrate uh, gymnast capabilities. And as we wait for Allison score, Dana Monona will be, as you see on the screen, getting ready. Allison Weeder's score is 695. And here goes Dana. flip-flops to a full twist. Nice combination. Back walk over 
into the corner. Getting ready for a second pass. Round off, lay out, flip flop, back some in. Back Summy and Dana really working well out there. That was Dana Monona for East Brunswick, second competitor on the Florex event. This our last event of the evening. Lori Herbert score on balance beam was 8885. That was the score we had been waiting for before we came over to floor. Meredith Garofalo, up next for the Bears. You can see her, she's playing around, twisting, uh, practicing uh, what they call this practice sets for, for full twist on floor. And it's just one way of mentally preparing yourself for the action, the twisting action that you'll need on the floor. Waiting for Dana's score. We'll go out to the center of the mat. Dana's score was 8.4. Let's see what Meredith can do. <laughs> Meredith round off, flip flops, twist, nice and high. Looks good. Nice height on the leaps. Into flip flops, back summy. pirouette with a little artistry to it. You see some originality being shown by Meredith as she gets ready for her last pass. Flip-flops and a back summy. Garofalo for East Brunswick, third competitor on the Florex. You can bet these ladies are tired. It's constant action, constant movement, tumbling and dance. And that'll bring up Lori Herbert. Lori will be the last competitor for East Brunswick for the evening. And we're waiting for Meredith to score. Should be coming shortly.
And here we go. Lori Herbert, 8.45 was Meredith Garofalo's score. Last competitor for East Brunswick tonight. Flops, double full and a little short. Good height, just a little short on the dismount. We're really going at it though. And that slight break doesn't seem to have thrown her off too much. Setting up for her second tumbling pass. Front summy. A little heavy round off at the flip flops back summy. It should have been a step out, and I'm sure that's what she wanted to do. But she was able to continue the pass. Third tumbling pass. Another twist, very nice. Lori Herbert, nice routine, difficult routine. And she was able to keep it together. And as Lori walks off and takes a breather, we're gonna take a breather ourselves while we wait for Lori's uh, score. And we'll come back to wrap up the results of this tri-meet here from East Brunswick High School. Well, Lori Herbert's score on Florex was 8.2, and so East Brunswick finishes out the meet by winning it with a final score of 97.5, followed by Piscataway, 81.5, and Saraville 71.8. So in East Brunswick maintains its undefeated record in defeating both Saraville and Piscataway, and you saw a fine exhibition of girls' gymnastics tonight. So that's it from East Brunswick High School where the girls continue to be undefeated. So for everyone here at Associated with Channel 8, I'm John Migliaro saying thanks for being with us.